and uh, generally that's they vote and that's it. Yeah. Um, so there's no there's no formal process for campaigning or making s statements right. or anything they don't like that among, at the among organizational themselves. meeting. That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, that's good to know. So generally, when they come in the organizational meeting, they are prepared to to uh, select a mayor. So, what other uh, measures does the city take to orient new councilors? Well, uh, once the council members have de or the council uh, candidates have declared, then in addition to uh, to uh, making those informal contacts, uh, we certainly encourage them to continue to attend the council meetings and uh, to uh, attend a council candidates workshop that we try to have as soon as possible after the, uh, the deadline for filing papers. And uh, what we cover in that are things like organizational things, contacts within the organization. We talk about the charter, um, not in great detail, but so that they understand the basics of how the, the, the government is set up. Um, we generally try to talk about uh, some of the issues. Uh, a lot of those have to do with the upcoming budget to start preparing them for that. And so what are some of the issues there or um, problems, challenges that we're going to have with the budget. Uh, and actually the budget does take up quite a bit of, of that time for that particular meeting because that is the most important thing that the council does Mm -hmm. in any given year is to uh, approve their operating budget. Mm -hmm. um, we also try to touch on operations a little bit, especially to get, make sure they're familiar with whom they should be in contact for specific uh, questions that they have or concerns that they might have. And again, uh, encouraging them to go directly to the department or the div division directors. Those are the people who can answer their questions the quickest and, and most accurately. Um, there's a, the Iowa League of Cities puts out a council, uh, new counselor's handbook. Um, and we found that that's, that's a very valuable thing. They update it every two years in anticipation of, of council elections. And uh, counselors generally have found that to be, to be very informative uh, because a lot of, under Iowa law, a lot of things that the councils do and the restrictions and, and the guidelines that they follow are really statewide, they're by state law. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure they have that. Um, after the election, we have another uh, new councilor's orientation, and generally the uh, sitting council members also attend that because one of the things we do is start talking about schedules. Council ha does have some flexibility about scheduling their regular meetings, um, and they do generally revisit that when, when new councilors come in. So that's one of the things we do in that orientation. Uh, one of the other things that we do, again, that takes up a lot of time is we get into more detail about the charter, about policies, uh, procedures for council meetings, how they're conducted. Um, sometimes they'll get into talking a little bit about the Robert's rules, sometimes maybe not that much detail. Um, again, at that point in time, we invite them to take more, uh, I guess, more structured tours. We try to set up tours with, with our department directors. Uh, to see as many of the city facilities as we possibly can. Uh, back when you're campaigning, there are certain issues, and that's what you're most interested in. Once you're elected, you've got, you know, then you're going to be responsible for policy making for the entire city. And uh, we found it very helpful, and the council members find it very helpful to actually go out and see the physical plant in the community before they sit down at the table, you know, and, and really start to, to make, be involved in the decision making. So they found that very helpful. That's um, great. It would be a shame not to actually visit the wastewater treatment plant right. and, and be making policy decisions about right. it. Right. And then again, encouraging them even, even more strongly to uh, take advantage of our open door policy to make sure that any questions they have, um, uh, you know, that they come to us, we're, we're glad to, to, to uh, answer those. And one of the things, we do put out our budget draft document uh, try to get it out about the middle of December for discussions in January. And so we encourage the new council members who haven't worked with one of those documents before to actually uh, set up a time to come in and we will take them individually or in a group, one or two or three, you know, to, um, 
take them through the, the budget document so they're a little more familiar with it before they actually sit down and start to work through it with the, with the whole council. And, and That's so quite on. a hefty document. I, I think is. I'd want a, a guided tour through it as well if I was stepping it, into that elected position. It is, and a lot of it has to do, it's structured according to mandates from the state and to how we need to not only structure our budget document but our reporting mechanisms as well. So sometimes that can actually make it a little more confusing. <laughs> uh, and uh, for all of us. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we, so what we're trying to do is make them as comfortable as possible uh, before they actually come in and sit down because it is, it's, it's, it's somewhat daunting, I think. I've never, I've never served on a council. Yeah. Uh, but it's much different than serving in my capacity or, you know, in, in operations or as a city administrator. Um, so uh, we just, we, we want, want to make them as comfortable as we possibly can and make them, you know, give them as much knowledge to work with as, as we can. Um, certainly it does take some time after you begin uh, work on the council before, uh, well, I've heard people say anywhere from six to 12 months before they really feel comfortable. Oh yeah. yeah. I've definitely over the years uh, witnessed new people on the council, uh, you mentioned Robert's rules, mm -hmm. and uh, make a little mistake in terms of the rules of order for a meeting and right. I've seen that the, the, the clerk correct them That's and say, right. well, actually, we need to do this first and then, and then this. And, and uh, I've thought, oh, you know, if I was a new council member, would, you, would, would they go to the clerk to ask, um, ask about the Robert's rules and any questions they would have about that? Certainly could, and we can get them a copy. Uh, uh, Robert's Rules of Orders, as you well know, is a, is a booklet that's, mm -hmm. that's fairly thick. Um, but council meetings, you, you can conduct a meeting with, you, know, you don't really get into a lot of detail because sure. there aren't those kind of complicated things. And some of the things that we talk about more than the rules are, are the motions versus resolutions versus ordinance, that, right. that kind of thing, and, and when those are you know, appropriate and uh, how those are dealt with in terms of, of council action. Well, thank you so much for going through some of these, these sure. details with us. It's, a, it's an, always an interesting time as the transition happens in the government and uh, and uh, at the at the airing of this program we will uh, then know uh, by the time That's this true. goes on <laughs> who who the mayor uh, will be and um, you know the future of this actual program is sort of up in the air we'll see if um, if mayor regina bailey is mayor once again i know mm -hmm. she'll return to us and uh, and whoever the new mayor is might might, uh, might take over the reins here so we're kind of excited to, to see what the, the future is going sure. to hold. Great. Well, thanks so much for being here today, Dale. Uh, my pleasure. Thanks a lot. Na 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 na